Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to uninstall applications on MacBook Pro, MacBook Air and iMac. So let's start. First of all, we need to move our mouse to the left bottom corner to the launchpad, we click on it. And when we see all the applications, we need to click and hold a left mouse button. As you can see, all of the applications started to shake a little bit, and some of them have an X sign on the left top corner of those. These applications were directly downloaded and installed from App Store, so to uninstall them, all we need to do is to click on this X button, and then we will see a message if we really want to delete them. If so, we just hit delete, and they are automatically deleted from our Mac. However, as you can see, most of the apps on my Mac don't have this X because I downloaded and installed them manually. So right now I'm going to show you the second way, manual way of deleting the apps. To manually remove the applications, we need to open Finder. And once we do this, we need to go to applications. To do that, up here we click go and then choose applications. Once we go there, we will see all the applications on our Mac. Uh, let's say I'm going to delete LibreOffice. It's over here. So all we need to do is to select LibreOffice and then drag it to our trash. If you are not using administrator account, you will have to type in your username and password to confirm. And once we do this, as you can see, a LibreOffice was deleted and right now it's in the trash. However, that was the first part of deleting an application manually. And right now, once we are still in Finder, we need to press go and choose computer. Once we go there, we can open the hard drive. In my case, it's Macintosh HD and then open the library. In the library, we need to find two folders. One of them is called application support. We have to open the folder and then check if there is a folder named the same way as the application we just deleted. As we can see, there is no LibreOffice folder, which means I don't have to do anything. However, if I would be deleting, for example, GarageBand, then I would have to delete the folder called GarageBand. The second folder that we need to find is called Preferences. So we have to open Preferences, and once we open it, we need to check if there is any file called LibreOffice over here. And if there is any, we need to delete it. Of course, in your case, it would be a different name. Uh, for example, if you delete uh, GarageBand, you will have to find a file called GarageBand. And, well, for me, there is no file called uh, LibreOffice, so my application was already deleted. And just to make sure that our application was already deleted, we can over here type the name of the application and if nothing is found, that means everything connected to our application was deleted. And the final step would be to go to Trash, right click on it and choose Empty Trash. And in this moment, everything in the trash would be deleted. Another way to completely delete the application is to right-click on all the files of the application in Trash folder, right-click, choose Delete immediately, and then confirm by pressing Delete button. So that was the way of uninstalling applications on Mac. Remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.